Now, Ed Ogeron is the son of a shrimp boat captain in Louisiana. I mean, come on. But they don't want him. Ultimately, they can't get Jimbo Fisher there. They decide, okay, fine. It's Ed Ogeron's job. Ed Ogeron, not trusted with the X's and O's of the defense or the offense, is basically forced to hire high-end, high-money assistant coaches to control the scheme because they don't trust them. This has defied all odds that Ed Ogeron is the head coach of LSU upon a national championship. Every step of the way, this was not supposed to happen this way. LSU fell into Ed Ogeron being their head coach. Totally fell into it. Had Ole Miss kept them, had USC retained them, had another Power 5 program said, you're our guy, wouldn't have been here. And had Jimbo Fisher come, or had a big-name coach they wanted come, Ed Ogeron wouldn't be the head coach. So for him to lord over one of the greatest seasons ever in college football history is inexplicable. Now, let's combine that with how crazy the Joe Burrow story is, which is even crazier. That Joe Burrow gets recruited to Ohio State and is behind three other quarterbacks. (laughs) He is fourth on the Ohio State depth chart. Fourth. Joe Burrow doesn't look anything like this Joe Burrow. That Joe Burrow is fine He's a grinder, but he's not a superstar. And he's stuck behind all of those kids at Ohio State. And even last year, after he transferred to LSU, kind of on a whim because his dad says, look, you want to be a starter? If you can be a starter and you can do it at LSU, that's a big stage. Try your hand there. And even Joe Burrow doesn't know if he's ready for LSU. But he transfers there, and last year is fine. But, you know, he's just kind of fine. And LSU has had a lot of just kind of fine quarterbacks. Good, not great. Coming into the season, Joe Burrow is not a Heisman favorite. LSU is not a national championship favorite. And Burrow not only wins both, he rewrites record books. This year he had 60 touchdowns passing. (laughs) Again, six interceptions. He had an 80% completion rate. You realize like 60% is really good. Really good. 65 is next level good. He had an 80% completion rate. Not throwing a bunch of screen passes and three yard outs. He's going deep. He's playing in the SEC. And he's played how many top 10 teams this year? 80% completion rating. Joe Burrow can't be stopped. He combines for 18 touchdowns in his three postseason games, 18 against no interceptions. <laughs> he went 18-0 in scores, 16 throwing, two on the ground versus no interceptions. This is not supposed to happen. It's a total luck of the draw. Now, LSU gives him a landing spot. LSU gives him a support. LSU gives him Joe Brady, his offensive coordinator, who comes over from the New Orleans Saints because LSU and Ed Ogeron realize we need to modernize here. Our offense is stagnant. It's stuck in the past, and we need to modernize. And Joe Brady comes in as a young, bright offensive mind for the Saints and says, okay, let's rip it up and start over again. Coming into this year, it's a total kind of mistake. Ogeron's the coach, Joe Brady's the OC slash play caller, and Joe Burrow is your quarterback. And it becomes arguably the greatest offensive season in college football history because this one not only has the stats but also has the national championship and an undefeated record. The improbability of this is staggering, which makes this one of the coolest sports stories we've had.